Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today looking at how to disable Chromium Microsoft Edge from running in the background. It's also called Preload, one of the two. And we can do this with the Group Policy Editor, editing the registry, or using registry files. Obviously, registry files are the simplest way. Windows 10 Home users can't use Group Policy Editor, but if you link, click this link right here, which will be provided in the video description, you can actually come over here and follow method one using a batch file in PowerShell, and that will allow you to quickly and easily enable Group Policy Editor. There's also a video tutorial there as well. Moving forward, let's take a look at what this looks like so that you see what we're dealing with, and we'll show you what to do. Let me show you our task manager. So much like Google Chrome, it runs a whole bunch of Microsoft Edge processes when it's running. But here's the trick, when it's not, you have this additional one here. If you click on that, you can see that you have memory being used, bouncing around as Edge preloads. And what it does is it preloads when Windows starts, it preloads when you close it, and it preloads some other time, what was it? Right here, when the system is idle. So it's easier just to get rid of it for a nice little performance tweak. So let's get moving. So right here you want to click on download and apply these registry files. Click download now or either of these two links. And once you've done that, you will have two registry files, disable or enable. So double click to disable, click run. Go ahead and click yes. And one final time, click yes. If you're nervous, go ahead and back up your registry first. That's it for the registry file, it's pretty easy. Enable, disable. Now if it doesn't work properly, you have any problems, you can actually edit the registry. And uh, it looks like somebody needs to fix the spelling. And advanced users can go to these two keys. Here's one and the one below it. And in both keys, you're gonna to need to right click in the right window and add a new D Word 32-bit value. You will name it allow pre-launch. The value data by default will be zero when you double click allow pre-launch and that will allow you to disable it. So you wanna do both of those keys. And you can also delete those pre-launch keys later should you change your mind. Simple enough, right? Let's do Group Policy Editor, always one of my favorites. Let's do, uh, I got it running in the background here, but let's do it again. Windows key plus R and type in gpedit.msc. Press enter or click OK. And we're gonna to wanna to go here to Computer Configuration, Expand Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and then scroll down and find Microsoft Edge and highlight that. You should be able to see, if not scroll, right here. And that's the one we discussed. And as you can see, that allows Microsoft Edge to pre-launch at Windows Startup when the system is idle and each time Microsoft Edge is closed. You have three settings here. If you wanna just go back and forth, or you're thinking you might change your mind, just click Disabled and click OK, and you'll be all set. Change your mind, come back and click on Not Configured. Now, in most cases, there's a reason for the Enable, we'll show you that, and that is typically you bounce between Disabled, Not Configured, which is Enabled. However, sometimes you'll see options right here, as you can see. That means if you click Enabled, you have an option. So if you like, and you think you might switch back and forth, it's just an alternative way to switch between these two. Allow pre-launching, prevent pre-launching. I'm gonna go with disabled because that should work. So once again, you can click apply and then okay, and you'll need to reboot your computer and that should stop Microsoft Edge from pre-launching. There you go. Pretty simple to do. Hope we uh, helped you out a little bit. Thanks as always for watching. Subscribe's down here. Blah, blah, blah. See ya.